Well, what's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about my camp cook set. And it's all in one tote. Everything. going on my outdoor crew this is a follow video from my new camp stove to my new cook set and the way I have it set up and some things that I have changed some things that may be changing even still so I wanted everything to fit in this one tote and I have mastered that except for spare fuel spare fuel I always keep and another thing um, always carry an extra canister or two of the Coleman propane. Um, the new stove that you saw, it does use the butane. So I could get a couple of the butane cylinders and I could fit two of them in here. Um, and then I wouldn't have to worry about carrying spare fuel at all. It would all be in here. So I may end up doing that at some point. So let's crack into this and see what all we've got. And I'll show you a few, th a few things I have in there. Of course, I already have a propane cylinder in there. I keep dish rags in there. There's actually two of those. Always keep those available. Roll of paper towels. Always when I catch the roll in the house getting kind of low like this, I'll pull it off, put a new one on, save that one for camping. Uh, canola oil, spray oil. I use this from time to time. If you don't have any way of uh, seasoning your cast iron, you can still use this when it's hot. Um, I've done it for years and have never had a problem with it. So the way I have this set up is for a two person thing right now. So I don't have a whole lot of dishes and pots and pans in here. This is probably gonna change at some point uh, to something totally different. Of course I keep my skillet my collapsible handle skillet in there always keep these around you can put this on a picnic table wooden picnic table you can sit your pan on it that way you don't burn the picnic table that and your imagine your people that run the parks probably be happier with you always keep a small cast iron skillet with me um, i never know these are just some plastic cups or four of them total in here uh, I just keep them in here for now I may find something totally different to do drinks in these two are actually from Camp Boxwell you can see that one and see that one Chase got those when he was at summer camp a few years back always 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 keep a lighter in there um, usually keep matches in there too is this thing not going to light? oh ok I was going to say don't tell me it doesn't work I just used it um, always keep those in there you can kind of shove it in your paper towel holder if you want to um, there's my collapsible hot water pot uh, let's see then I've got a just a normal size pot this like I said this is a thin wall this may be going away um, considering getting the Coleman not the Coleman scratch that the Stanley cook set and that may be where my plates and new pot comes from we'll see uh something i have upgraded to or changed i used to have plastic big plastic um wash basins to do my dishes in now i have two of these collapsible ones these don't work great i've already had them out and messing with them they extend out like so and always the way i always do it I use one for washing and one for rinsing. Um, I will highly recommend biodegradable camp soap of some type when you're doing dishes in the outside. And in my rinse water, I always put a couple drops of bleach for sanitizing the dishes when I'm washing. I always keep that in plastic bags. So if anything was to happen to one of these and it leaks, it's leaking in the plastic bag. It's not leaking in your stuff. I have had these to leak before. Not these, actually. I had a uh, ball of Dawn in here that leaked and I got rid of it. But uh, always use the biodegradable soap if you can. Um, it's just better on the environment. Combine your water 
uh, I will discuss the way I do cleaning so, too. Um, like I said, one of the things we used to teach in scouting is when you go through eating, you wipe your your pots, your pans, and everything out with a paper towel to get as much of the hard stuff out of the way as you can, and put it in the trash, not out in the not out in the uh, grassy areas. Um, always keep a couple of these in there to wash the dishes with scrubbies. Uh, highly recommend. Always keep salt and pepper. And you'll notice all this stuff's in plastic bags. Matter of fact, this actually has an oxygen absorber in it. To keep everything good. Sugar. I don't use sugar or sweet and low or any of that anymore in my coffees. This is in case Chase or somebody's with me that requires it. Um, another thing I highly recommend is the non-stick Reynolds wrap. Now, if you want to go the cheap stuff, that's fine. I like this stuff because it's what? Non-stick. I've been using this quite a while. Um, I won't use anything else, I'll be honest with you. I will not use anything else. And if you're not worried about it, if you're worried about it not being thick enough or heavy enough, double it up. Double it up will work. I, um, we baked a baked potato for Chase on the fire with this. And I cooked my broccoli in this. Yeah, I had broccoli instead of baked potato. Um, I kept these two Stanley coffee cups in this kit. I took them out of the other thing. You know how my Stanley um, camp cook or my uh, backpacking style camp set is. I'll leave a link up here for that if you want to view it. But that's what I did with the two coffee cups. I put them in this so I can have my morning coffee at camp with that. Um, then I have two more little pots and pans. These are collapsible handles. If I do the Coleman thing, these will go away also. And I'm pretty sure I'm leaning towards doing the Coleman uh, cook set. It comes with plates and everything. I'm, I'm leaning towards it heavily. I always keep a mixing bowl. This is a stainless steel, uh, pretty solid mixing bowl. It's about right for a two or one person type deal um, to mix up in. And what I do like is the collapsible handle pots fit inside of it. Uh, then I keep an assortment of knives, silverware, that kind of stuff in this. Can openers. Um, I found out, and I don't know why this happened, but I ended up with two can openers in this. Then I keep this kind of a kitchen knife and this little makeshift sheath that you made out of cardboard and duct tape. But that keeps it Always keep a pair of tongs for moving coals around when you're using charcoal. Plastic spoon. Uh, assortment of different styles of forks and spoons. Open L knife. Best camp kitchen knife out there. What, 10 bucks I think? And high carbon steel. Good knife camp kitchen uh then there's there's my folders singles uh let's see then i keep an assortment of napkins and wet wipes in case you need it the best part is putting the stove in there keep the stove in there so then the other two things i have is a couple of spatulas now this spatula here i only would use on a grill type situation I do not use metal anything on my uh, non-stick or my cast iron at all. Never. Negative. Nor. Don't do it. Uh, this this will ruin your finish on your um, non-stick. This will ruin your finish on your cast iron. I never use metal on any of those two types of cooking things. Now stainless steel? Yeah, go for it. So anyway, that's pretty much what I keep in this, in my, what I call cook box or my chuck box. For one or two people, it's perfect. Um, probably can max it out to four. Yeah, I could probably max this out to four. Uh, the most I have normally go with me is two. Um, 
the minimum I have is me. So anyways, guys, that's it. Everything fits in here. Um, I've cut back on a lot of weight. I've cut back on a lot of space in the truck. So now I don't have the big Coleman stove with me unless I, you know, we do a big family camp out, which I don't see happening anytime soon. Then I can upgrade, you know, or not upgrade, but grab what I need for that particular camp out. But this is for me and Chloe, me and Chase, me, myself, and I. And this works out perfect. It's great. Um, I just don't need all the other stuff that I had in here the like i said this collapsible stuff now is awesome i love it i'll leave a link for these down below also for the collapsible sinks that i'm using um and you can pick that up if you want to um but I, I, that's that's it for now that's what i've got in there like i said it could change like i said this the mixing bowl will stay the same but this this pot and the two collapsible pots may go away uh, to an upgrade so that that's what may happen there um, I just think that would work out a little bit better in the long run all right guys that's it for now I appreciate you watching and make sure you like share and subscribe we've got a camping we're gonna try to do camping trip at least one a month and I'm ready to go camping again I'm ready to get out there all right guys be prepared I do want to add a footnote into the end of this video. Uh, a lot of this stuff I'll reload at either the end of a camping trip or at the before we leave to go on the next camping trip. I will pull this out and go through it and see what I need to add. For instance, there's only two coffees left in this. I'll add three or four more back into it. And same goes with this. We had any napkins left over from a dine out. I'll add to this. That way I've always got it on me. All right, guys.